Top 10 Wellness Practices for 2025 The spa and wellness industry is still booming. From local day spas to worldwide wellness locations, it appears like everyone is booked and enjoying continued success. The Global Wellness Institute GWI, predicts that wellness tourism, thermal mineral springs, and spas will rise significantly as the wellness market exceeds $7 trillion by 2025. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we are going to talk about top 10 wellness practices for 2025. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 10. Facial Yoga Facial yoga is another wellness practice that we expect to grow in popularity by 2024. Facial yoga, also known as face yoga, is a regimen that combines massages and movements to stimulate the muscles, skin, and lymphatic system around your face. It is considered to soften and relax your facial muscles, reducing the visible traces of tension, stress, and concern. Facial yoga can have a similar impact as manual lymphatic drainage by minimizing the buildup of lymphatic fluid that occurs overnight. It's ideal for individuals who don't want to undergo medical procedures, but it's worth noting that it won't have the same tightening impact as a laser. Number 9. Digital Detox According to a Leeds University study, British people spend an average of 11 hours every day gazing at screens. Our growing reliance on smartphones, tablets, and laptop computers is prompting many individuals to reassess their connection with electronic devices, resulting in the digital detox wellness fad in 2024. We're all becoming more aware of how much time we spend on our phones and the consequences of doing so. Screen usage climbed considerably during lockdown, but hasn't dropped since the outbreak ended. Everyone is waking up and the consequences are beginning to unfold. Number 8. Mushroom Stacking Mushrooms will continue to grow in the wellness sector in 2025 as we learn more about their applications and benefits. Medicinal mushrooms are still taking the wellness world by storm, helping with everything from burnout to boosting libido, and with the Duchess of Sussex endorsing the trend by investing in a new US-based company. The growth of functional mushrooms shows no signs of slowing. Mushroom stacking is a new buzzword that refers to combining medicinal mushrooms with other adaptogens and antioxidants, stacking, to maximize their advantages. Number 7. Matcha Makeover Unfortunately for our caffeine-addicted buddies, coffee is out and matcha is in. Switching your morning drink from coffee to matcha is a tiny but significant adjustment you can make this year to help reduce stress, manage anxiety, and enhance your immune system. This Japanese superfood, green tea, is intended to be a morning energizer. Matcha will offer you a morning caffeine boost while also improving your health. Coffee, on the other hand, can be bad for your hormones since it raises cortisol levels. Coffee's energy is released quickly over a two-hour period, which can lead to a crash, whereas matcha releases energy over a four to six-hour period making it less likely to produce a sudden crash. Number 6. EMDR Therapy The mental health movement has become a significant part of our daily lives, occupying space in mainstream media. The lowered stigma has led to an increase in the number of people seeking mental health treatment in recent years, and eye movement desensitization and reprocessing therapy, EMDR, will become a major wellness trend. We anticipate that the already rising demand for EMDR therapy will continue to grow. However, for some difficulties, especially those driven by ancient patterns arising from childhood experiences, it can be more beneficial to work at the felt sense, emotional level. EMDR is the next phase of treatment in the UK therapy that is particularly adaptable to deep-rooted difficulties. The National Institute for Health and Care Excellence and ICE, a UK organization that approves medical and healthcare interventions on the basis of research, has approved the approaches and the therapy. Number 5. Gender Inclusive Beauty And when it comes to beauty goods on store shelves, the distinction between men's and women's products is likely to blur. Gendered marketing will no longer be prioritized. 
Instead, firms will showcase products that address certain needs that are common to all. More of us will support and embrace gender inclusiveness in skincare and beauty. Everyone should feel accepted and involved in self-care, and manufacturers are responding to the need for gender-neutral goods. Skincare should not be gender-specific, but instead target specific problems, such as breakouts, pores, and irritation. Number 4. Sleep Sensing We can't always receive the quantity of sleep we need each night. One option to rescue our bodies from the stress of digesting a lack of sleep is to change our meals and evening routines. According to Holland and Barrett, sleep sensing will become popular. As the desire for a better night's sleep continues, we'll see an increase in the popularity of circadian eating, which involves switching from heavy evening meals to midday light meals. Not only will we avoid large meals late in the day, but we'll also see new sleep aid compounds like glycine added to our bedtime skincare lineup, as well as a complete tech shutdown before bed to avoid nightmares. Number 3. Women's Wellness We've been working to reduce the stigma associated with women's health and well-being for several years, and we'll be highlighting talks in a variety of media outlets. Women's wellness becomes a huge business, beyond menopause, which was thrust into the spotlight in 2023, we will become even more focused on overcoming taboos around broader women's health issues such as endometriosis, polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, and fertility. This trend will be mirrored in the items we see in stores, particularly when new tropics and adaptogens find their way into products that support menstrual health. Number 2. Gut-Brain Connection TikTok fans ignited the internet with the notion that beautiful chicks have IBS. This was a movement that allowed us to open up the discourse about stomach problems, talk about our experiences, and seek advice on the best ways to relieve discomfort. The trend is expected to grow as more people seek out innovative ways to improve their gut health. With the environment getting increasingly polluted and stress levels rising over the previous two decades, there has been a significant increase in patients with stomach issues. A network of about 100 million neurons lines our stomach. Many scientists refer to our stomach as our second brain since it is so large. This vast network of neutrons is known as the enteric nervous system, and it produces more serotonin, our happy hormone, than our actual brain. This is why the gut-brain link is critical for maintaining good health and avoiding sickness. Number 1. Incidental Exercise Incidental exercise is defined as activity that occurs in small amounts at various periods during the day and is a growing trend in today's time-constrained culture. It can be just as good for your health as longer, more sustained fitness sessions, but the difference is that it can frequently be incorporated into your regular routine making it much easier to integrate into your schedule. Incidental exercise can be as simple as getting off the bus a few stops sooner and walking, boosting your speed on your way to the store, bouncing up the stairs instead of strolling or crouching while waiting for the kettle to boil. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.